Then we move on to the, the barn wall. So we're going to start with some raw sienna and a touch of burnt sienna. Just drop some of that color into the wall. Leave touches of white, a bit more raw sienna. So just dab the brush loosely onto the brickwork. Then with the color shadow, just touch that in to make it more textured. Then I'm going to use the, the foliage brush, which is made from bristle and hair, with some burnt sienna, and just stipple the texture onto the stonework. And while we've got the foliage brush, we use some burnt sienna and stipple some texture into the foreground. Some shadow. Some shadow mixed into the burnt sienna. Bash the brush so it opens the whole brush up and stipple. Then change to the medium detail brush and some burnt sienna, maybe a touch of shadow just to make it a bit duller and start to paint in some of the, the brickwork, some stones. So individual um, bricks and stones in the wall to create some texture. While we've got that burnt sienna color, just drop that onto the farm building. Moving on to the detail on the brick wall. So I'm using some burnt sienna and some shadow. So make a nice dark mix and just pick out some of the stonework. So where we have a dark area Put a little bit of shade underneath each stone. So there's a dark stone there, a light one just next to it, dark one by the side. There's a large area here, so just put a little line around that. Some shade underneath. Repeat the same thing. So some shade underneath each individual stone or brick. When the detail on the wall is complete, just drop a shadow along the underside of the, the roof. So just bring that along. And this is obviously using the color shadow. So just tuck that up underneath the roof there, a little bit darker. the farmhouse and put some color into the window. The next stage is the detail on the woodwork. For that I'm going to use the half rigger and a dark mix of the color I use for the woodwork. So it's a dark greeny brown color. Burnt umber and country olive and with that dark color start to paint in the detail on the woodwork. So at the gable of the porch and use what's known as a nervous line. So you paint it along and just let your hand wobble. Some people, it comes natural. Then onto the, the doors, same dark greeny brown color. For the foliage, the side of the barn, I'm gonna start with a light color first. This is 
sunlit green and the brush I'm using is a brush called the foliage brush. So you just stipple with the foliage brush. The foliage brush is made from bristle and hair and when the hair part of the brush is wet the hair curls and it opens the brush up. So when it's all splayed out you can stipple like this and it creates a texture. So you just bring that down to the bottom of the, the bush, bring that along and with a piece of paper as a mask you can mask off the milk churns like that and finish off the foliage with a round brush you just carefully paint around the edge and just with that same brush fairly dark at the back of the milk churns and keep it dark along the base of that bush. Using the same technique uh, this time with a, a light bluey green, so some cobalt blue and some sunlit green. Piece of paper as a mask and stipple. Take that away. finish off with the round brush for the detail. Paint in some, uh, some greenery at the back of the fence. to there and allow that to dry.